Hey everybody. So, especially to you, Patty, as well. I am putting this on your page. <laughs> um, now you know what? I just watched your uh, raw review. Uh, once again, as I've told you before, Sad Panda. I miss you. Do I'm gonna miss you doing them. I actually enjoyed watching them. So, Sad Panda face. There we go. Sad Panda. Um, anyway, I think for once you actually said a lot of stuff that I will say I agree a thousand percent on you with. And you know me, growing up in the business, there's so much I know. You know, I definitely sit there and I go, okay, you know me. I love Joshi. I love Joshi wrestling. I love women's wrestling on the independent circuit. I'm a big supporter of WSU. I am a big supporter of Shimmer. I am a big supporter of um, currently Shine and now Bombshell Wrestling. Even if it is run by PW fucking ass. I digress. But anyway, you know, it boggles my mind. Because, okay, I've gotten to see AJ before she was AJ. I have. Come on. She dated one of my boys on the, in the, well, formerly of TNA. Now back in Ring of Honor, you know, a fellow Jersey boy who I went to school with. All right, not gonna drop names, but um, let's just say for anybody out there who doesn't realize what I'm talking about, I'm talking about oh yeah, and I don't mean Macho Man Randy Savage. Um, but yeah, I definitely think when it comes to the to the Divas division. It's a joke. In all reality. And I think it's a mockery to all the women wrestlers who came before the Divas. You know, to me, it's a mockery to Fabulous Moolah. Mae Young. You know, um, Lalani Kai, who I'm friends with here on, uh, well, over on Facebook. You know, I mean, it's a slap in the face to some of the legit women wrestlers out there who want to do this because they fell in love with it. You know, and this is even here on my own channel, I'm stating this. You know, for me, give me, you know, I'm, give me one minute, I will be right back. I'm going to show some of the people who watch Patty's video click on mine because they see a video response, or even just people who are subscribed to my page who watch, I'm going to show you some real women's wrestling. I will be right back. Sorry if I took so long. Okay, to me, this is real, is real women's wrestling. WSU. Even if at this point it was still owned by the Mick, who I personally don't like, and I think made another mockery in another way of women's wrestling, but that, again, I digress. Okay, but WSU. Okay, yes, even though this particular DVD has them tagging with men, if you watch... 90% of the matches, the woman wins the match. Okay? Right here. Okay? J JPW's women's division. Right there on the cover. Lofisto. ODB. Cheerleader Melissa. You know, I mean, some of the names that are on this. Like I said, ODB, Lofisto, Annie Social. 
um, Ariel, Sarah Delray, Daisy Hayes, Roxy Cotton, Sassy Stephanie, Cheerleader Melissa, Nikki Rocks, Portia Perez. And then right here, I brought up Joshi. Okay, Joshi Chikara, which is a predominantly male-dominated promotion when it was around. Okay, they dedicated three nights back to back to back of women's wrestling. And now, Patty, I just want to make this clear when you do watch this. I'm not saying this to educate you. You know? You know my passion about wrestling, especially women's wrestling. I'm doing this to educate the people out there in YouTube land. You know, the people who, like I said, watch your, you know, may watch your video, see that you have a video response from me, and click on it. But like I said, in all reality, people, you know, I'm, I'm the same way. The only reason I watch TNA anymore is because I know a lot of the guys on the show. I know Samoa Joe, you know. Back in the day, I knew Homicide when Homicide was still there. Hernandez. You know, I mean, come on. That's the only reason I watch TNA anymore. And the only way I watch TNA since I work Thursdays now is I watch it here on YouTube. But, you know, the Knockouts division is a hell of a lot better than the Divas division. They actually let the girls fight. You know? The, D the Knockouts title, I hold a lot higher than the Divas title. And I love AJ. I've met AJ. She's the sweetest girl ever. She's probably one of the few girls I know who I can be an anime nerd with. You know? And a Hello Kitty mark. And I don't get that look of like... But as I said, you know, you know my feeling. You know, one of the other things you said, you know, that you did bring up, I've given you my opinion as someone who is in the business, who knows the business. You know, I mean, I'm not going to say the idea of time off is bad. I'm not. You know, do I see it happening? No. In all honesty, I don't. Um... I'm not going to sit here and say it's a bad idea. You know, I'm really not. Um, I think what it comes down to, like how you brought up the injuries with the wrestlers, I think the guys themselves, as the wrestlers, need to sit back and take a look and go, okay, Ooh, excuse me, I think they need to take sit back, take a look, and go, okay. <coughs> I know this is what I do. I know this is what I do to put food on the table. But to the same extent, my health has to come first. You know, that's where I do look at, like, a lot of the indie guys. As much as it sucks for them, you know, they'll take time off to heal up an injury. You know? I mean... Mike Quackenbush. He was out for, I want to say, almost a year? Year and a half before he ever came back because of surgery that he got. You know, myself. I was out of the ring for almost two years because of my knee. But, like I said, I mean... I hope you watch the video. I hope that um, some of the stuff I said, actually, you know, you'll agree with, if not. But, like I said, and once again, I wanted to, to reiterate people, the people out there on YouTube land that watch, okay? Real women's wrestling. Real women's wrestling. Real women's wrestling. And after that, I will say good night, and I will see you ringside.